Finland has more than 5 million citizens. The capital city is Helsinki. And there are two main things to know. First of all, you go there in summer, which means you love nature or the city, Helsinki. The other reason is you love snow, ice, then choose the winter. And yes, you will love it. On the rocky shore of Finland's largest lake Saima, Olavinlina Fortress, or Olafsborg in Swedish parlance, rises majestically in the late 15th century. In terms of popularity in the tourism industry, the fortress is probably the next largest after Turku Castle. The famous landmark of Finland got its name from the name of the 11th century Norwegian King Olaf Haraldsson. The fortress is located in Suvenlina, a small resort town near the border with Russia. At the mouth of the Joki River is another important landmark in Finland, the castle of ABO, or Turku. The value of this structure is primarily due to its rich history, Turku Castle was built during the Middle Ages and was one of the largest buildings of those times. The history of the castle dates back to the late 13th century, when the Swedes decided to found a fort on the site of the future castle. Over time, the fortress has played the role of the administrative center of the Swedish power in Finland. Santa Claus Village in Rovaniemi, Lapland According to legend, Santa Claus dwelling is in Lapland, on Mount Corbatunchery. But as rumors began to circulate among people about his dwelling place, Santa, not wanting to be declassified, chose a place near the town of Rovaniemi to meet with people. That's how far beyond the Arctic Circle, among the sparkling snows and dense forests, Santa Claus Village appeared many years ago. But the real appearance of this popular attraction in Finland has a very different story. In 1950, wife of President Eleanor Roosevelt visited the region. In honor of her visit has been built a small wooden hut, which was presented as a temporary home of Santa Claus. Helsinki on the Katajaniki Peninsula, high above the skyline of the Finnish capital, rises the largest Orthodox cathedral in Europe, built by order of Emperor Alexander II, in honor of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Cathedral of the Assumption is an important religious landmark in Finland. You found in Helsinki, the Temple Iakio Rock Church. It is one of Finland's most unusual sites, and one of the most original churches in Europe. The church embodies the main feature of Finland, a combination of wildlife and modern technology. It blends in with the natural landscape and perfectly with the rocky surfaces. If you are interested in the distinctive culture of the Finns, their traditions, mentality, way of life, then you certainly have something to see in Finland. On an emerald island, buried in verdure, a few kilometers from the Finnish capital, is an open-air museum, Surasari. The island is an oasis in the midst of urban life, and the Finnish way of life is reflected in the old farmsteads, cottages, and manor houses that have been built over the past few centuries. The location of the museum itself is very organically combined with the exhibition, because Surasari Island is in fact a typical example of the nature of Finland. For those interested in Finland's national, cultural attractions, the guide's report at the Arctica Museum will be a kind of journey to the northern peoples of the country, with an exploration of their history, traditions and culture. The Arcticum is located in a beautiful natural corner, on the banks of the river Anastjoki, not far from the center of Rovaniemi. If you like Finland, Helsinki, and our content, we will really love you more, if you subscribe to our channel, give the bell a hit too, and yes like this video. It is free, and you will get our content on your YouTube page, between all the other content you love. Thank you. And if you have any comment to this video, feel free and go to the comment section. And we should not forget Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. Best time to see them is from end of August until April in Northern Finland. Auroras, caused by solar winds, occur year-round, but the nights need to be dark enough for us to be able to catch a glimpse of this phenomenal light show. That is why autumn, winter, and spring are the best times to see the northern lights. If you subscribe, because you like the content you see, we will be happy. Thank you for your support. And it is free, really. And if you hit the bell, it is still free.